Hey there, it's Paul Mark uh, from Transcend Coffee and uh, just another continuing episode of our uh, series on becoming a coffee connoisseur. And today we want to talk about the importance of freshness in coffee and aromatics. Often I think that people, or we, we, we've really become a society in North America that equates coffee with a shelf-stable product. Uh, if you go back to our, our, one of our earliest web blogs, video blogs, uh, James and I sort of sneak into grocery stores and just film the expiry dates on bags of coffee sitting in, on grocery store shelves. And some of them were 9, 10, 12, 15 months from the time they were roasted. Um, Despite uh, all the, the, the obvious implications of that old, old coffee sitting on a shelf and having that to use to brew with, um, there are some really important reasons why freshness is important when it comes to coffee. And that's because, simply put, coffee is amazing when your nose is involved in the process and not just your mouth. We can only taste five basic things, sweet, sour, salt, bitter, and umami. And that's great, but I always like to refer to our tongues as blunt objects, blunt like a hammer. They don't really do us that much good. Um, what makes dining and drinking uh, really amazing is our nose. Our noses are far more adept at giving our brains uh, the stimulus that they need to have this amazing experience when it comes to food and beverage. And so that's why um, it's really important that you, when you're gonna brew great coffee at home, that you get fresh coffee. Um, because coffee is highly aromatic and when it's freshly ground and brewed properly using hot water, you're able to actually get those volatile gases coming off that coffee, all those aromatics, and you actually trap them in a liquid state for a little while. And so then when you drink the coffee, like I'm doing right now, not only is your tongue at work giving you flavors and you're giving your brain signals for flavor, but your nose is also involved in determining and, and, and perceiving all these volatile aromatics coming off that brewed coffee. So that's why it's critically important that when you're going to make great coffee at home, you source fresh coffee. And when I talk about fresh, I like to think about bread. When you go to the store, you know what fresh bread is, you know what it tastes like, or fresh vegetables, fresh produce. That's essentially what we're asking you to, to think about when it comes to coffee as well. When you're brewing coffee at home, I like to sort of use coffee that's three, four days off the roast. Espresso a little bit longer, you want it to degas and you want that maybe eight, nine days off the roast. If it's a properly pro packaged product, vacuum sealed, one way valve, you can probably, with our coffee, we say it's okay for 30 days. Um, but we would encourage you even to, to accelerate that a little bit. So important, important, important. Fresh coffee. Find our local roaster if it's not Transcend. Get fresh coffee. It'll make all the difference. All right, until next time, cheers.